20. Falcon 9 is configured for float. delivering Bulgaria Sat-1 to a geostationary transfer orbit. All nine Merlin engines capable of putting out over 1.7 million pounds of thrust. We are coming up on max Q at one minute and 18 seconds roughly. We'll be passing through max Q that is maximum aerodynamic pressure. We just crossed through it. That is one of the highest stressed states on the rocket. So we're over 20 kilometers above the surface of Earth. You can see the engine plume expand at the base of the rocket. That is indicative that we are leaving Earth's atmosphere. You just heard the call out that the Merlin vacuum engine on second stage has begun chilling in. This means that we are getting ready for three major events. Main engine cutoff, Miko 1, stage separation and second engine start. We'll talk about all three of them after they occur. just saw there in quick succession was Miko main engine cutoff followed by stage separation which was done by four pneumatic actuators on the forward end of our first stage and then on the right side of your screen you are seeing the glowing red nozzle of our second stage engine That glowing red nozzle on the second stage is how you can see that we have uh, a good ignition in space. We will have fairing separation in about 15 seconds. It just happened right now. It's like a good separation of the fairing. That was a brief glimpse of Bulgaria sat within the fairing of our second stage. This means we have left Earth's atmosphere, majority of Earth's atmosphere. On the left side of your screen, you are seeing an image from the top of our four of our first stage. You see two grid fins uh, in the sides of that image. We use those grid fins to guide the stage through the atmosphere to the drone ship.
Now those grid fins do look small, but they are about five feet long, about four feet wide. Um, so they're rather large as we, we use them to guide ourselves back. You are also seeing occasional puffs uh, come out from the side of the stage. Those are cold nitrogen thrusters that we use to help orient the stage. Now coming up in about a minute, we have our entry burn of the first stage. This is a three engine entry burn. Uh, for today's mission, since we are landing on the drone ship, we do not have a boost back burn. We only have an entry burn and a landing burn. Two burns total for today's mission for the first stage. As I mentioned previously, our entry coming in for first stage is one of the highest heating and structural loads. Uh, so this is a very challenging first stage maneuver to land on our drone ship. Of course, I still love you. Of course, I still love you has AOS. You just heard confirmation that our drone ship has acquisition of signal, AOS, of the first stage as it's coming back. First stage, stage one, entry burn is started. This is ignition of the entry burn. This burn will last for about 20 seconds. Three engine entry burn on the first stage on the left. Stage one entry burn shut down. We have a good shutdown, confirmation of a good shutdown of the first stage entry burn. Now it is normal for us to see some of the uh, soot appear on the camera screen. We may also lose, uh, occasionally lose coverage of the first stage entry as we come in through the horizon. Uh, that is all perfectly normal. This is expected to lose the signal from stage one. We will have uh, signal acquisition as we come closer to the drone ship. Meanwhile, you're seeing on our second stage, the engine burning. Our second, this burn will last stage to about eight minutes, 30 seconds. Uh, and then we will have a coast phase for the second stage uh, before we do our final burn to put Bulgaria Sat into a geostationary transfer orbit. Second stage here, TSS stage. <clears throat> We're coming up in about 30 seconds on our landing burn from the first stage. About 45 more seconds for this uh, stage two burn. Landing burn has started. The confirmation of the landing burn has started. Landing legs have deployed. And it looks like we may have lost some of the footage coming in for the landing ship, uh, for the, coming in for the drone ship. Uh, we do expect to lose signal from the drone ship as we come in. If you've watched previous uh, missions, uh, that is not uncommon for us to lose coverage of the first stage coming back to the drone ships, uh, the rocket vibrations. Uh, coming into is something like that can Falcon cause some landed, issues. And it looks like we did have a good recovery of the first stage. Um, video feeds did come back. That is touchdown for first stage on the drone ship. This was a three engine landing burn. Most challenging landing to date. Successfully touched back down on, of course, I still love you.
Meanwhile, we have a good orbit for second stage. We are in a good parking orbit for second stage.